Hey, this is Greg Paulson, and I want to give you a quick overview of the new carbon 3D printing materials offered at Zometry. I have seven materials to go through. I'm going to talk about some of the analogies from traditional plastics that they may represent, as well as the highlights of each individual engineer material. The thing to know about carbon 3D is that it prints parts that are isotropic, so they have the same properties regardless of direction of print. And they also have a secondary thermal cure, which gives them these engineered and use abilities. So let's start with CE or CE221. Now this material is very stiff at a Shore 92D. Um, but the best thing about this is a high heat resistance. So we're looking at a heat deflection of 231 Celsius. This is actually slightly higher than 3D printed Ultim, which before metals was our best material with highest heat deflection to it. A lot of times we're gonna look at this as a substitute for something like a glass fill nylon because of that stiffness to the material. So check out the CE again high heat resistance is gonna be key to this material. The next material that I have on our list here is our EPU. So this is a direct print that has a very nice Shore A value, about 68, rubber-like flexibility to it, and high levels of durability. This can take a beating. So if I'm doing something like a strain relief or something that needs to be rubber-like and uh, perform over time, I'm gonna look at our EPU material for this. And I just really recommend, this is actually the first material I work with from the Carbon Platform, and I just thought it was absolutely excellent. The next material I have on our list is our EPX. So the EPX is epoxy. Uh, the epoxy material uh, is very chemical resistant, has great impact modules to it, so it's actually very impact resistant as well. Um, and I would use this to replace something like a glass fill PBT uh, if I'm doing a mold platform or something to get to that level because of this mixture of chemical compatibility as well as tough material properties. So the EPX, again, a very tough material. Think of it for connectors, think of it for housing, stuff that may go inside or outside a vehicle. Very cool material and I have a little piece here to show EPX in another form. Now moving over to some of our polyurethanes, I have our flexible polyurethane to start. Because of this geometry, I can't really flex it too much in this state because it's a flexible plastic, not like a flexible rubber. So I'm gonna go and cheat and steal one that does show the FPU. So this is a geometry that shows kind of like a rigid, almost uh, tire tread band to it. And you can see here that it's still plastic, it's rigid, but it does have that flexibility to it. So FPU is something that you want to have some snap fits or some movement to. This is a great material to look at. To go more on the rigid side, but still have that fantastic polyurethane um, capability, that's our RPU, our rigid polyurethane. Hanging out on shore ADD, this is something where I have an ABS part or PC ABS part, I may be using the RPU here in the carbon platform. And honestly, I could get some great results from this. Uh, I think this is gonna be one of our more popular materials because again, it directly substitutes for something where you may have to tool up to get the same properties like a urethane cast or injection mold material. Another awesome material and uh, adding to our list of end use elastomers straight from the printer, this is SIL. So looking at the part, all right, what's the big deal? Well, it's a silicone material. So I have some stretchiness to it, responsiveness. This is a Shore A35. So it's got that kind of chew, chewing gum uh, squish to it. A uh, really cool elastomer that directly 3D prints. I love having this on our lineup at Zometry because it fills a need that we just really couldn't fill it beforehand without doing a urethane cast to get that. And last but not least, I have our UMA. So this one happens to be uh, made blue um, because UMA, you can get custom color matches uh, from this through a custom quote. Uh, oftentimes, you know, you're just gonna probably get this in a black or some sort of gray scale, uh, like I have this UMA part right here. You get the feature details, the isotropic properties that you get from uh, the DLS platform, but do understand that this is the only material that is a single stage process, which means it doesn't have those activatable urethanes or epoxies in it to give it that additional strength. So it's a great general purpose material. Um, the other six that I just talked about are more the engineered purpose built materials. Um, all these materials are available on Zometry's website for instant pricing. Uh, we'd love you to take a look at it and ask some more questions. We're happy to answer them as well. Thank you guys so much.